Hello, my name is Raquel Guijarro and I would like to share with you the new paper that we have published at the Maxofacial Institute together with Professor Nandez Alfaro regarding the appropriate timing for surgical intervention in orthognathic surgery. As you know, orthognathic surgery is the treatment of dental maxillofacial deformity. And during the last 50 years, we have witnessed a profound revolution in the treatment of this pathology. To begin with, in the surgical field, the improvement of rigid fixation systems, together with new technical refinements, allow us to operate on our patients with minimally invasive protocols that together with anesthesiological improvements have greatly reduced patient morbidity and allow us even to operate on our patients on an outpatient basis. In addition to this, in the orthodontic field, new improvements have been performed too, and this include the introduction of temporary anchorage devices, which have greatly increased the age range of patients that we can treat, together with the uh, provision of new anchorage possibilities for us surgeons. Uh, the classical approach to orthognathic surgery, as you know, uh, involves an orthodontic preparation phase that tends to last about a year. Then surgery takes place and it is followed by a second orthodontic phase in which the final adjustments are performed. This is what we call the conventional approach or <coughs> surgery late approach. Um, however, in 2008, we began with a new treatment concept, the surgery first protocol in which for selected cases we performed surgery before uh, orthodontics and then after surgery orthodontic treatment was performed. Of course this treatment protocol is reduced or is limited to a specific group of patients with specific uh, demands and with a specific characteristics or baseline occlusion which we define for you in our paper in which uh, we have already described in previous publications. In this paper however we share with you the fact that when we uh, reviewed all our cases treated during the last years, we realized that it was, this was not just a black and white concept. In other words, either surgery first or surgery late. On the other hand, we realized that our patient prototypes were also very varied. And according to these patient prototypes and other variables related to the orthodontic and also to the baseline occlusion, we realized our patients fell into different treatment categories, which we have summarized for you in this paper. And we have called surgery first, surgery early, surgery late, surgery last, surgery only, and surgery never. You already know what surgery first is about. In the case of surgery early, this would be a group of patients similar to surgery first, that is with high aesthetical expectations or important upper airway problems that need to be solved as soon as possible. However, their baseline occlusion requires a short time of orthodontic treatment before we can proceed with surgery itself. Um, surgery first, of course, and surgery early are then very similar regarding surgical technique and the orthodontic management. And surgery late, again, refers to the conventional treatment for orthodontic, for orthognathic surgery, which still continues to be the main approach followed by us and uh, worldwide. However, there are other treatment modalities, which include surgery last, uh, this treatment protocol is reserved for patients who have undergone orthodontic treatment in the past but who have eventually became, become aesthetically compromised or have developed upper airway problems which need to be solved now by surgery. In the case of surgery only, this is a, strictly, uh, a protocol strictly limited to a specific group of patients with particular occlusal characteristics, which we also define for you in our paper. And it is basically reserved for patients with serious obstructive sleep apnea problems in whom we do not change the occlusion, but rather change or increase the upper airway dimensions by rotational movements of the maxillofacial complex. And finally, of course, we have the surgery never group, whom of course do not undergo surgery, but rather decide to undergo orthodontic camouflage, understanding its limitations and potential problems. These six 
timing approaches are defined again and are decided upon regarding specific variables uh, relate to the patient, to the orthodontist and to the surgeon and have specific technical refinements or specific technical particularities and treatment planning conditions that we summarize for you in our paper, including a treatment protocol and an algorithm to decide upon the different categories. Thank you very much.